Right. You, 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 talk ahead, about, sorry, you talk about trends you might see this year, and p- people always try to emulate the top. But people tried to emulate, like you mentioned earlier, in this part of the discussion, Mike Jackson and his approach to Broken City, how he writes and desi- they design there. I think a lot of groups tried it last season because I, I know I saw a lot of evidence of like, oh, they're trying to do – channel their inner broken city with this concept or whatever but I think a lot of groups tried it it didn't work that well for a lot of them and I think they made them realize oh like it literally takes like only Mike Jackson can do what Mike Jackson does you have to have the players man that's the next thing I was going to say you have to have the horses that broken city has to make it work and all these groups realize like it's just a reality we don't have the talent to pull this off nor do we have the designers that can design it in the way Mike Jackson and team do so I don't think you're going to see as much of that Broken City type of show in the lower ranks of WGI. I think it was tried. I think people learned their lesson, and I think we're going to – Oh, Michael, I, I completely disagree. <laughs> well, I guess I'm optimistic. I hope people <laughs> would have seen that you can't do what they do without what they have. I, I or it's disagree. very I, difficult. I, I, don't, yeah. I want to avoid an absolute statement that nobody could pull it off. But why would you want to succeed just by copying? Yeah, I, mean, I, I want just... to. I want to work my own identity into the activity until that is what people deem successful. Rather than like, listen, I could go out and buy a box six show, and maybe this. And me and Travis actually talked about this. But what if we went and bought <laughs> little boxes, that which confines us, and we do Pulse twenty fourteen? It's like time and place and the members and it's like we wouldn't even win right yeah. so it's like it's it's all about the moment and catching the wave and like doing the right thing at the right time and like knowing it, it, it's not about what just happened it's about what you believe is going to happen right and what where you believe things are going and like we've gotten lucky with those moments too like it is very much context driven and also lest we forget lest we forget <laughs> the brand name underneath it matters, dude. This shit's not being judged blind. Mike Jackson can do what Mike Jackson does because Mike Jackson has been basically orchestrating and composing the judging and the approach to WGI with Mark Thurston since he was at Mission Viejo over the course of a, over 20 years. You know what yeah. I mean? So it's like, yeah. and, and is it fair to like, one, we should just say, yes, that's a real thing. Those are the politics. Those are the realities. We all get it, right? We don't need to like pretend that's not a thing for all those big names and also i think that's an issue within wgi is like they will give credit to people simply because of the people behind the design not because the thing works better or worse that's my argument that's i'm not saying that for broken city but there are groups that i would argue that for i think what i want i hope to see a lot this winter too is somewhat you what you were talking about people just trying to do the right thing at the right time maybe not trying to do like emulate a certain other thing uh, but making shows that are just memorable like you can walk away from humming or singing it two shows from me from last year that stick out the most that i remember the most are rhythm x like i was singing that for weeks here we are now and then infinity nirvana Yeah. And then Infinity Show was just very memorable for me just because I was like, was it a new concept, like the time thing and like going back? No. But the things they did felt fresh. It felt creative. I was like, this is really well done. I just appreciate it. They did play well, obviously. It made sense. Um, I just hope that there's a lot of opportunity for groups to use melody and harmony things that aren't just like riffs. Like we didn't just play a lick and then into another lick and then into another lick. And then we had this sound and then we had this front ensemble run. Like the cohesiveness of WGI is just as important as the cohesiveness of DCI, probably even more so just because you have less instruments to work with. Um, Soundscape wise, you can make a lot happen, but I just really like those shows that I can remember like, they have a they have a song that stuck out to me, uh, a song that I recognized, something that like took me back to a moment in my life, or they was like, oh, I remember that song when I was a kid, or this or that, or I heard this there, or like I heard this on the radio. I like that stuff, and I think it's easy to digest and entertaining from a fan perspective. Mm-hmm. Definitely, yeah. I mean, it's no surprise too. Like, oh, I I walked away humming Rhythm X. Just like, yeah. Do you mean Kurt Cobain? Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, one of the most iconic songwriters well, of all time. Like, good call. That they made a good call. I'm yeah, you just lie. talked like, about 
focusing on making a production that could appeal more in DCI Nirvana. to a broader audience. X's show last winter, you could show to a normal person and they could probably enjoy the seven minute experience and be like, oh, that's really cool. Like the way they... The boxes were yeah, super creative. It's, that's the kind of stuff. And I feel like X... Also, probably, it's seven minutes at, long. Yeah, you, ex- uh, more digestible. But if you look at X's track record in history since their rise to the top and how they've maintained it there, they probably have the most shows that you could show to a normal person and they appreciate and are entertained for seven minutes and have moments where they're like, oh, when they did this or that, that was so cool. Like, they don't understand the intricacies and the clarity of the drumming or the front ensemble playing. You can certainly tell that they're proficient, though. There is a yes, difference you can in what tell they they're very good to it. But, like... Well, even back to 2008, like, oh, they used Justin Timberlake. And yeah. 2009, it's like, oh, they used... Uh, what's that? Dreaming with a John, Broken Heart and John Mayer. Um, yeah. And they just... I mean, they're good at pulling those rock shows mm-hmm. or just pop culture was it stuff. John out. Mayer? Was it John Mayer? I think it's John Mayer. I don't know. No, that was somebody else. Or uh, Dreaming with a Broken Heart was the OHO. Yeah, the snare thing. But uh, anyway, yeah. 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 Um, well, I, I, I agree. Jason Mraz. And, yeah, there, uh, there it is. I think that, that might be right. I, I think, think Rhythm, X, Rhythm X refuses to sacrifice their, you know, uh, accessibility for certain things that would push them into that first place spot. And we've seen it happen with 2018. We saw it happen this year where they're like, we're doing this. Like, we're not going to like apologize and pander to the judges and the sheets. We're going to like play loud. We're going to like rip things. We're going to be aggressive, you know? And I, I think that's their, their thing. And sometimes it hits, but you know, we've seen them take second a lot of times. Like I think 2018, you know, I love that RCC show. I could go back and forth. I could argue for both shows. I think this past year I could go back and forth. Like mm-hmm. it, it's about what values you have. And I think pulse is so attuned to what works in the WGI medium. They know what, how to sound clean inside with their tuning and their writing with their, with uh, they know what comes across their clarity of intent, all these things. But I wouldn't show pulse to really someone like even my wife is like, I nope. It My sucks. brother ends up watching a lot of this stuff and he's been around marching band drum corps indoor from coming to, to groups that I have shows that sure. I was in and everything. So he kind of has an idea of what it's all about. There's a lot of stuff. I, I know with drum corps this past season, he sat and watched some of the regionals that I watched on our couch. And he was just like, they're going the wrong direction if they want normal people to watch this stuff. Yeah. He just I straight agree. up, he was just like, no one would like, I'm not going to lie. Cause he's like, a, he's the sports kid in the family. Like, he's like, you're, he was the football, baseball, all that stuff. He's like, what you all do is really cool. But he's like, this is not where the uniforms need to go to make it more palatable. It's not. He goes, I'm not an expert, but. You mean dressing up at Bob the Builder doesn't work for <laughs> As an outsider, he just straight up. Who was that, was Blue like, Stars a couple years ago? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Blue yeah. Stars. Yeah, they had it, some lumberjack ears there. <laughs> it they sucks, really though. Did. And this is a paraphrase uh, from a judge comment on a tape, but it, it just kind of stinks when you're like listening to a judge tape from like Rhythm X last year. And they're like, oh, well, uh, I wish that I can't really hear the front because the crowd is going crazy. I wish that like maybe that was taken into consideration in the construction. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Like, so now you're penalizing them or at least like, what the? Them, no. Uh, because the crowd yeah. is so loud. Like, I, well, mean, I don't know if you penalized them. It's on the tape. But- he said on our, on our tapes, uh, the judge talked about how he uh, ate lunch and had a Diet Coke. And that's why he was burping into the microphone. And then he proceeded to to burp into the microphone uh, a whole bunch. Just a that's ton. Funny. Yeah, no, that right. was one. Oh, and then the other judge that called us United. Oh, the second fun. last round. You know, so, all the East Coast groups are the same. You're all the same. Group. Dog, it's the, no big deal. The, the type of tone, like, I wish you guys, I mean, I could play for you. Like, some of the tapes, like, how disappointed the judges are to have to judge George Mason University. Like, oh, you haven't gained the clout to be judged by me, me who's been retired <laughs> from the activity for 20 years and just judges and hasn't cleaned a triplet role in, you know, however long. And it's like, at least Rhythm X, like, I mean, that is literally the dumbest comment I've ever heard. But they're getting dumb comments at a higher level. Like we're getting <laughs> dumb comments. Like I, I am burping. The oh, dude was like, I had diet Coke. They made us have a quick lunch and I drank my diet Coke too quick. Like, dude, you know what we just went through to get to this point and you're burping and talking about drinking diet soda. Like that's real. Everyone I have talked about this and that's completely 100% real. 
I've heard it, so it's fine. All right. Well, anyway. Not to derail this, but I need to dip sometime soon to make sure I can get Cincinnati on time. But I want to make sure – and you all obviously can just keep going if I have to bow no, out. We'll, but, we can wrap. Um, uh, we've talked about Pulse. We've talked about – I think Broken City is going to keep Broken city They're going to Definitely. have their motif. Um, Definitely. There actually is a little part of me that thinks Mike might throw a curveball at everybody this year. I hear you say that, but I want to tell you that I've heard about the crown book and I think you're going to be vastly disappointed. Mm. (laughs) Well, we'll see. I'm going to hold out and see if what actually ends up going down. But so broken city is going to broken city pulse is going to pulse. I think where you're going to see the different stuff, at least at the top of the game in world class is you're going to see mystique go back to the, what they do, but usually do. They tried something very different and they, they, they bought into it from a member level standpoint, like they always do with the theme, the way they had their hair haircut, all that stuff. But I don't think it worked. I don't think it worked well for them. And the scores w- will reflect that as well. I think you're going to see them go back. You know, they always have that kind of tribal element a little bit to a lot of their shows. And um, I think we're going to see, I don't want to say the whole top five is going to re- be a return to form or a continuation of form. But I think RCC and X, and I know this is kind of stock because they're the two that usually do try the different stuff from a show design standpoint, year in and year out. I think we'll see unique things from both of those groups. And I think you'll see Mystique go back to what they normally do or what's more reminiscent of what they've historically done with their show designs. And uh, and then again, we already said Pulse and Broken City. But I'm just yeah. intrigued to see what happens like below that too. Because you know, last year you had like three new groups make finals. What, Blue Knights, yep. uh, Rhythmic Force, and Vigilantes. Vigilantes. Mm-hmm. So it'll be interesting to see what some of these groups do to like kind of bounce back, like Atlanta Quest and Strike and things like that. I mean, speaking of Vigilantes. will be coming out, coming out, trying to make, throw haymakers. So they're, I think they'll try to be like, like. The right, problem is, dude, once you dip out of that final spot, think about the recruiting. It's hard. It's hard it to recruit. It starts to perpetuate. Yeah. But, one of those groups that you just mentioned that broke into finals, Vigilantes, they're like a North Texas area Rennick related group, right? I think there's some, there was a handful oh, of very much those. So. so does Rennick still have the policy where his kids can't do indoor? I don't know, probably. So if he still had that in place, I think you'll see more of those Vanguard North Texas people that weren't doing indoor because they weren't able to because of marching for Rennick at Vanguard. If he still has the policy, I don't really know. I'm talking out of my butt right now, but if that's the case, I think you'll see vigilantes be even more talented because they're going to get some of that Vanguard and North Texas people that are able to do it now. Yeah, I watched their um, their lot from finals, and to be honest, it just didn't come across at a, at a high level. It was perfectly together, mm-hmm. but it didn't have a brand and an identity that you need even to sit where we are currently sitting. Um, I think it was very just like, clean like stoic almost on clean yeah. stoic the music was very brr. it was like it didn't have the dude to to compete in the independent world at any level um you have to bring the risk factor and i oh, think they definitely the, rode clarity into finals yeah and, and that's definitely fine rode they, clarity they into could finals. do that again but i i don't think you know even to speak on monarch it's like you you need to start to carve something out that makes you remember them and yeah. i think monarch had a really um stratospheric rise yeah. when they you know had that team with like don and richard and and ben and like some people don is now gone richard is now richard henshaw is on the program seat i think he's figuring it out um and they just you know you need to come out and and swing with the identity you know what i mean and what you're doing with uh even even your concept itself that you're choosing to i don't know take a risk i guess and even in what you know the top five do consistently there's there's risk taking just in themselves like they just do what they Mm -hmm. do and they they you know you know that the mystique drill is going to be hard you know that rhythm x is going to play some stuff you've never seen played in a drum line you know pulse is going to bring that high level of production and skill to everything like they they you know they're very consistent but they they do have something that pushes um Mm -hmm. 
pushes the form and there's groups that fall into the shadows of that and um being clean can definitely get you in but it's not going to get you much much past that like bottom quartile or whatever Mm -hmm. so i I just don't know if they have the dogs out there on the design side to go like this is what wj is doing and we have a vision for where we want to bring it in ourselves um because that texas scene is infantile in terms of like wj presence oh definitely they they had three they had three, but I would argue it was three groups that weren't very personable. It was like three mm-hmm. groups that just, they got in because Strike or whatever had major issues, major construction, major clarity right. issues. Um, so Atlantic like, Quest had some pretty significant yep. structural program issues too. Yep. They yep. did. Yep. They definitely did. You'll be getting some DMs about that. They are That's all right. ravenous down there. People usually uh, send me some wild DMs. I just screenshot them. And then like, all right, well, here we go. 